Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Last week I put a video out on my page and on my channel of the reason why there wasn't a vlog last week. I also said in the same video guys that um, there was some stuff that I managed to record that I really do want to share with you guys. So what I thought I'd do is I'll uh, share some highlights of what the stuff I managed to capture with you now and then I will see you guys in the morning. Hello! <laughs> oh my god guys i've um let's just say i've picked out my own birthday presents well a few birthday presents two, two birthday two. presents right you know when sorry john but you know when you kind of you get so many then you're like you know what i want to get a little something else but you just don't know what to get so the best person to ask is the person whose birthday it is that's very true because I did that to you last year, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah, because I was a bit like, oh, I ain't got a clue, guys. And I was like, right, right. Okay, what is it you want? What is it you like? Okay, so I, I got a gist and I was like, right, I'm going to get that as a present. However, the KFC looks like they're getting some uh, concrete or something filled in because they put temporary traffic lights up on the road, right? And no word of a lie, literally, the queue of traffic is like crazy. So it just proves how much this uh, car park is being used by all our wonderful customers, eh? <laughs> well, I think I found out why we've got these uh, lights here, guys. Because I believe they're digging up for the supplies for the water, gas, etc. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I can see water pipe there. Yesterday, I gotta say, there's a lot of people that were complaining about the lights being put on this little bit of a ride about here. It's gonna be interesting to find out how many of those people that whinged about the traffic lights here are gonna be using the KFC when it's uh, made. Honey, I'm home. Where is she? There she is. Hello. Hello. All right, guys, I really do have to ask her this question, right? What does it feel like to be divorced? Yes. <laughs> you happy? Yes. Now, why are you happy? Um, It's all I've with. Paperwork, the forms, everything done. So you feel like you're totally like floppaged? Brain. Yeah, just... <laughs> so we've uh, got ourselves dressed, we were all packed up and we've had ourselves a bite to eat and we're looking forward to getting the day, you know, off on a good start, hopefully. We are going to be making our way now to Win and All to go and visit Mumsies and then hopefully, guys, I'm going to be able to go out and do a little bit of a wander so I get to show you some stuff around exactly, fingers crossed. Hopefully, uh, Mumsies hasn't got anything for me to do today. I think so. Oh, thank God for that. For once, guys, we go over there and there's nothing to do. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to get on the road now and uh, fingers crossed it's going to be uh, good for traffic. I was determined to get into this spot and I must admit it's the most squiff parking I've ever done in my life <laughs> just look at that well at least I'm in now we're gonna get ourselves unpacked now and get ourselves in and spend some time with Yvonne's mum and her hopefully her brother might be up we're not that far from where Yvonne's um, uncles are buried and we're gonna go and have a look at the grave and spend a bit of time there um, I changed my mind I didn't really want to go out when I got to Yvonne's mum's to be honest I was uh, so engrossed to talking about things and all the things of the future and you know things that happened in the past you know how it is you catch up and you go over old stories but I will say one thing about today something that's really struck me it's surprising that who is there for you when you really need them because Yvonne's mum I tell you now she is absolutely legend I was wasn't I I was sat there for a good hour explaining yes. to her my feelings of how stressed I've been and everything like that and she said you know John it's understandable why you feel this way and it's understandable why you want to change things in your uh, future to make it a little bit more better for yourself. Well guys, I've just left Yvonne over here. There she is, she's looking around, 
you know, and taking the scenery in, whilst it gives me a chance to have a look in this area, because I was looking at the maps the other week, and I said to you, I said, you know where we parked the car? There used to be houses there, so I thought I'll have a little bit of a look today and see if I can see any foundations or anything. I've got to be careful, because I'm not wearing, you know, my usual, you know, adventuring clothes here, but I can't go any further than I am now, but it's in this area here. Oh, hang on, what's this? Got some sort of a brick block something there now being honest guys there's a lot of times i've looked at the old maps and i've gone like oh well there should you know easily be something there and there isn't and it's like well okay then but then there's times where i've looked at the old maps and i've gone oh okay there's no buildings there and then i end up finding you know some buildings and i'm like well, they weren't on the map were they so they must have not been there that long for them to not be on the map i found a brick Literally, yeah, honestly, just in that area there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let's just say, guys, I can't wait to get back over here to uh, have a deeper look. What is going on, guys? Literally, me and Yvonne were on our way home and we were coming up the Entsford Road. And uh, I said to Yvonne, I said, there's a helicopter in the distance. And she was like... Oh, crikey, there is. Now, I don't know what they're doing, guys, because they keep going round and round in circles. Now, I don't know if they're looking for anyone, but I hope that, you know, whoever they're looking for is okay, and if they're looking for somebody who's a criminal, I hope they get caught. What you do is... What you do is, girly? Oh, bless you. Now, where is it going? guys these uh two trees here and this bush is starting to come into uh, a nice little bit of green here we also do have this uh old tree here i did uh, cut it many years ago but it's now starting to grow back again well anyways guys i gotta say that yesterday time flew so fast me and yvonne spent literally hours on minecraft we started playing around about 10 11 ish right and then we stopped playing roughly about five ish and in between we did have breaks and food and such but it was just like so great and i don't know it's just great to enjoy some time with your loved one isn't it but anyways today i've got myself a bit of a task to do i've got to break down some wood now, if you recall, a few vlogs ago, I um, took about f four or five fence panels apart, and this is the, um, well, wood that's left from it all. Now, what I'm going to try and do is try and break it so it snaps sort of in half here, so then I can sort of fold it up and sort of have them stacked up in the back of the car. Okay, as everyone else probably does have, I have a lot of crap in the boot of my car. So I need to empty all of this out, put the back seats down, and obviously take out the parcel shelf there. Absolutely perfect timing, guys, because the sun has just came out. Oh, fantastic. Well, anyway, let's crack on and get this done, and uh, fingers crossed it won't take me that long. done and cleared up and i gotta be honest it did not take me that long either but just look at all this in the car here it is like so much wood right now that i'm hoping guys that the uh, tip is open tomorrow now i did check at the beginning of the week and it did say that the tip will be open so fingers crossed guys it is open tomorrow because i like to get this uh, car cleared out well hello there little links lose what's the hurry murray <laughs> oh yeah Lots of lovings, boy -o. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, I can't believe what a sort of day we've had today. 
literally me and Yvonne has literally conquered everything we've wanted to do today. I've been literally doing this, that, another, and I'm glad I've got the uh, wood now broken down because uh, that'll be getting rid of tomorrow. Um, Yvonne's, you know, caught up with everything she needs to get done, and uh, it's now time for food. And God, be honest, I am looking forward to my food because I'm having a nice curry. Mm. What's up, babies? What's up, babies? <laughs> oh, bless. All right, I'm assuming you want to go outside then. Okay. That sky is like really red. And this is the thing, guys, that I'm, I was saying like months about that if I find something interesting, I want to share it with you guys. And sometimes when I see things, I'm like, whoa, that looks so cool. Wow, that's amazing. Look at this. Look at that. And to other people, they'd be like, so what? Who cares what that is? But for me, it's, it's like a big thing. Finally, she is now ready. And are you going to actually move that butt down the stairs now? <laughs> I want to get out, honestly, guys. Seriously, today, guys, we are going to have a bit of a fun-packed day of different things, right? The first thing we need to do is get rid of that wood, right? The second thing we need to do is go to B&Q. Me and Yvonne's got ourselves a little packed lunch all set up ready for the day, and I want to try and find somewhere where we can sit down and enjoy it and maybe have a nice scenery to look at. Yvonne was just saying she didn't believe that all of that came from those few panels, and I was like, yeah. Anyways, let's get on this road. Well, we found this nice little area here, guys, and I must admit, it's not too bad here to come. We're gonna have a little wander around this area and see what wonderful things we get to see. Oh, do you know what? That had me a good one there, guys. I thought we weren't able to get in. Didn't realize that there's this nice little walk path here. Go careful there, Yvonne. There we go. Hey, it's not a bad place. And I think that down here, guys, we've got some water, so, Let's get down here and see what we can see. Typical, the first thing they see, the car tires in the water. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. All right then, let's see what other things we can see. She's off already, she said to me, she goes, right, I'm gonna take some pictures. And now I've just seen this area here and I said, oh, I really wanna look at that. And Yvonne was like, go on, you do that and I'm gonna do some pictures. Oh my God, this is amazing. I'm going to pause myself carrying on going down here because I don't want to lose where Yvonne is. Right now I can press play on this area because we've got Yvonne now with us. Hey Yvonne, got more tyres here for you. Oh, God, no. oh my god guys, I nearly enough just wet my pants seeing this. I don't know what this wall was supposed to be for but there's a lot of bricks around this area. So I decided to think that it would be a good idea to get up on the top of this to have a look down. Not a clue, guys, what that wall is all about. Oh, and we've got another wall over there. And we've got some, looks to be some bricks or something down there on the ground, guys. Just there, the area where I'm circling now, that's bricks. So I'm definitely going to be interested to find out what was supposed to have been here many years ago. Absolutely fantastic. Time to tell Yvonne about this lovely, beautiful area that is wherever she has disappeared. Now I'm hoping that um, most of you are aware that she has her own page on Facebook. If you aren't, I will leave a um, link of it in the um, description of this video so you can give her uh, page a bit of a look and maybe give it a follow and a like. That'd be absolutely awesome. Focus, focus. <laughs> How? No. <laughs> He's like, how to? Change of plans, guys. We decided we're going to have a walk around the area to see if there's actual a bench. I'm not too yeah. sure where we are really now. Oh, what have we got here? Private fishing, eh? Oh, this is a uh, walk mill clay pit. Definitely look at the old maps later on, guys, because I want to know a bit more about this area because uh, 
I might come back here and get really deep within the bushes, so to speak. <laughs> we are now going to be trying to find somewhere to sit down and have this food eventually, but we keep getting distracted by beautiful shiny things. Wow, guys, look what we just found. An absolutely cracker of a place to have our food right there with a beautiful sight over there. How awesome is that, eh? It's beautiful. Is it worth it? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight, guys. We're literally walking under these uh, electrical wire pylon thingies and all you can hear is <laughs> noise. And I said to Yvonne, I said, what the hell is that noise? She goes, that's the pylons, that's the electric. I was like, I've never heard that noise before. But just imagine how much power is going through these. <sighs> well, anyways, I gotta say that this area has been absolutely brilliant to come to, to have a look around. Me and Yvonne have just uh, had a conversation that we're gonna be coming back here again. And why is it you wanna come back here again? To enjoy the scenery. What's anything else that you enjoyed today? Fresh air. Fresh air, guys. Fresh air, yes. <laughs> so the scenery and the fresh air. Well, fresh air. What more could you ask for? All right, guys. I thought I'd take you to on top of the M6 toll road. Well, this is the A460. Oh, I've never done this before. Oh my God, that is very high. Wow, guys, that is absolutely amazing. Anyways, I'm going to be making my way back to the car. I've just said to Yvonne, you go back to the car, you take your stuff, because I wanted to go and see the motorway. I've been wanting to do a time lapse on a motorway. And the thing is, I don't want to have it where I'm out in the open and I'll be a distraction. can honestly say I've been spoiled. i tell you something, I think people feel that I am um, a bit smelly, I like my alcohol, and I like to sit down and eat some chocolates, whilst obviously making some Lego. <laughs> now honestly guys, I absolutely appreciate all my presents. Um, we're just getting ourselves ready to uh, have our breakfast, and then once we've done that, we are then gonna be going out to Etchin Hill Rock. So today, we're gonna take a very, very slow walk because there's a few areas the, the, the uh, ground is not quite level. I'm looking forward to seeing what things we can take pictures of as well. And then once we've done that, we are then going to be going off on a little bit more of a car ride and going off and having a nice meal. Wow, fantastic and what a brilliant day to come. Just look at that sun there. Right, so now we are here. We're gonna be looking around and um, I am literally gonna be taking loads of pictures. There's not gonna be much recording going on in this location. So if you wanna see any pictures from this area, I will be um, uploading that to my actual Facebook page. So go and check that out, that'd be absolutely awesome. Well, I gotta be honest, this is Yvonne's first time ever coming over this side of Rougely. And she is like, I've not been here before. And this is when we're on the road. And it's like, we haven't been here before, I haven't seen this. I'm like, well, if you're getting excited for that, wait until you see Etchin Hill Rock. But anyways, we're gonna go off and have our little bit of a walk. I have a question for you. Did you enjoy your first time going on the rock? Yes, I did. And what was it about the rock you enjoyed? Lots of views. So first of all, the view. You can't describe the views, magnificent. Secondly, peace and quiet, the tranquility of it. But no, the views alone, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, 10 out of 10. We are now in Hensford, about to go and have a nice meal at the Weatherspoons. And I gotta admit, I love Hensford's Weatherspoons way more than Rugeley's, down to the simple fact of space. Now, if Rugeley was able to have a bit more of a, you know, space like the Hensford's got, then obviously we would be in uh, Rugeley. But anyways, we're off now to have a bit of a birthday meal. And uh, I believe we're doing some window shopping, is that yes, right? Yes, we are, yes. Well, I can honestly say the weather today has held out nicely for uh, my birthday. Anyways, me and Yvonne here is now home and I can't wait to honestly sit down and relax because I tell you it's now 
Today mm. has been like literally looking this, looking at that. And also, I gotta say, the meal was absolutely spot on. And we did do a little bit of look around, hence for a town. And to be truthfully mm. honest, there's quite a few shops there and I didn't even know about it. Anyway, unfortunately, guys, this is where we're gonna have to love and leave you for this weekly vlog. So we both wanna say a huge thank you for going by. It means the world to both of us. And always, guys, do your best to stay positive and scroll those negatives. Oh, yeah, baby. And we'll see you on the next one. Hi, hi, hi. Bye, bye, bye. bye. bye.